Holy oh Jesus. Look at all these excellent games added to the SNES Mini. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hack and mod your SNES Mini to hold up to an additional 200 games. Stay tuned. What do you know? What do you do? What do you say, my YouTube viewers? Retro Pro Frank with another installment. Uh, we got a hack today. Uh, we, we all knew that this was going to happen with the release of the SNES Mini and uh, the NES Mini. We all knew that this was going to be moddable. It was just a matter of time. Uh, right now, I want to give a shout out to Cluster, the inventor of this uh, software. He's a Russian hacker. I don't know him. But if I did, I would definitely shake his hand and maybe buy him a beer. So Cluster, thank you very much for making this software. And now we can uh, load on some extra games to our SNES Mini. Now this is actually very simple, okay? So if you look in the link in the description uh, below in this video, you're going to see a link that's going to take you to this website right here, okay? Uh, and over here... Let's see if we can find cluster that's cluster right there okay so there's different versions that were released for um the snes mini apparently for this version you can do the super nintendo mini as well as the famicom mini the super famicom mini and the nes mini so you're going to see a whole bunch of different uh you know versions over here beta versions all these different downloads here now what I went with was this one right here, okay, with the webinstaller.exe. Okay, so you're going to click on that, uh, you download it, and once you download it, you're going to have this little cute little icon here, let's get a close up of that. Okay, you're going to get that cute little icon right there, okay. Okay, and then once you get that uh, cute little icon, you're going to open it up. Um, now I must warn you, if you have a good antivirus system, you might want to shut it off because it's going to try to block this program because it doesn't know the app and it's new and it's like it's asked you to should we trust it just shut your if you have any firewalls on just shut it off okay this isn't going to damage your pc or anything like that but what i must say as a disclaimer is uh anytime you try to mod anything you take the risk of breaking it uh me myself retro pro i'm not responsible if you break your unit or if you get a virus or anything like that uh, don't come crying to me about it, okay? So as long as you guys know right off the bat that, you know, that uh, whenever you mod something, you're responsible for it. If something happens, please don't come to me with with that. Anyway, so I, I tried this last night and um, it actually worked, okay? Um, so I, I uploaded a bunch of games. Now over here it says 72 games selected, okay? So I guess it's got the 21 plus the ones I've added, okay? And it shows over here in the bottom. Um, I'm using 134 MB out of 258 MB. So I guess that's the amount of room on the SNES Classic. Um, so I, I pretty much just loaded like the best of the best. Okay, so you can see over here, you know, we got like Aladdin, okay? Um, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs. Um... Battletoads and Double Dragon, Castlevania Dracula X, uh, Final Fantasy 2, you know, just, just the, the best of the best, uh, the ones, the ones that, you know, that you wanted to see on there that never came, you know, it's nice that Nintendo left an extra, a little bit of extra space there for us to do this, okay, so, uh, what you do is, uh, you would just go and go to, uh, File, Add More Games, okay, and then it's going to ask you in the directory where to go. So, you know, I can add, you know, whatever games. I'm not going to add uh, Bobby's World or, you know, <laughs> Breath of Fire. Sorry if you guys like that game, but, you know, that's not really my kind of game. So, you pick your games, okay? And, and game ROMs are pretty much available 
anywhere. Now this version 2.20, I'm just using what I had already on my PC, which is, um, they're just compressed uh, files, so I'm not uncompressing them or anything like that. Okay, so I, you know, I did about 30, I don't know, about 40 or 50, maybe, games. And uh, I tried it out last night, it was great, but it had a folder in it, so like, when you're going through um, the front uh, the front end of the SNES Classic, you see like a blank folder, and that's really not what I wanted, right? So, my one buddy, uh, actually my buddy Ron, he let me know that if you go into the settings here, you can go into disable page folders right here. Okay, so if you just want it to look like the way the SNES Mini was designed with all the games on one row, okay, so you don't have to see any folders, because I don't want to see anything remotely close to a computer when I have a modded SNES. I want to see, you know, beautiful box art, and that's about it. So uh, it's up to you. If, you. if you want folders, you can go in this section here, and uh, automatically, I think the default comes with uh, pages split games equally or some something like that. So I had to change that up for my liking. So I went to disable page folders, okay? Now, there's some talk on the internet of, of some older videos. And when I say older, I just mean just a couple days older. So they're not even really that old. But these are new updates that, you know, uh, Cluster has been supplying everybody with. So... Um, they say something about downloading another file and running that. Okay, on this version uh, 2.20, I haven't had any issues with having to download and install any um, any kind of additional files besides uh, this file here. Anyway, moving on. So once you get all your games here, okay, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, if you know that it's uh, one player, you can click off the one player here. Um, you can also go two players, not simultaneous, two players simultaneous. If you want to spend all the time in the world to figure out when the release date was and the publisher and all that, hey, by all means, okay? Now for the cover art, you can use, if you have art already stored, backed up on your PC, you can use that art through your computer or you can just hit the Google button here and it just gives you a bunch of different uh, box arts for you know the game related it's just doing a google search so normally the first one is always the one that you want to use now i know that there's a way to do like a batch um download so like you press one button and it'll download for all these games but then you have to go through them and everything as well so yeah uh this is pretty much what i have on here is uh, Mega Man soccer Mega Man 7 like these are all good games Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I have a lot more space still available here. I didn't want to kill it right off the bat, but, you know, let's see if uh, about adding another game here. So I'm actually going to add this right here, uh, Fatal Fury. So right now it's uh, putting it in, and you can see that it just has that blank stock cart looking thing here. You go to Google, and there you go. You have a selection here of what you want. Some of them are... Um, Super Famicom version, original. I just look for the ones that are, you know, they, they look a little bit more HD. Um, for example, like, see this one here? It looks very dull and dim compared to uh, this one here. Actually, I'll go with this one right here. And there you go. See, now it's into the system. Right. So now that, you know, you have all your games here that uh, you want to install, all you do is you press this button here. Now, you have to make sure that your Super Nintendo is already plugged in via USB to a computer. Um, and when you do use uh, the USB, please try not to use USB 3.0. Uh, if you can actually plug it into the back, directly into the motherboard, that's going to be the best compatibility, okay? So now we're going to go synchronize selected games with the NES, SNES Mini. So now it says connect your Super Nintendo, turn it on if there's no drivers, which I didn't have to install any drivers. So now I'm going to click it on. The light has come on. And this is real time here, so... It might be a couple minutes. 
Okay, now Windows 10 has detected it. Programs detected it. Uploading games. And it might take a couple seconds, you know. It's running through, uh, you know, just a basic USB to micro USD uh, port. And the light's still on on my Super Nintendo. Now, every time you do this, whatever's in your list, it's adding everything again, believe it or not. So I just added one game. It's not just running that one game. It's it's redoing the whole thing. So it says, wow, done, successful. So we're going to press OK here. Now the light has went out on my SNES Mini. So I know it's time I can shut it off. And that's it. She's all done. Let's take it over to the TV over here and see if uh, my game's on there. Okay, so let's see if my game's on here. Final, final, final fury. So there she is right there. Okay, so that's the one that we just added right there. So this is a very uh, simple mod, guys. I wouldn't be too scared to do this. Uh, you can see some of the games I already put on here. I'm going to ram the hell out of it, you know, but I'm only going to put the best of the best. Like, for example, there's like 10 versions of NHL 92 to like 96 or some stuff. Like, those kind of games I'm not going to be putting on, but you can see some of the types of games, like, you know, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy and NBA Jam, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, which is awesome. Like, I would never go buy that. Uh, you, you can see the types of games here that you can upload. So I haven't had any problems with any of them yet. I'm pretty sure that it's not 100% compatible. So you might, you know, run into a game that's that won't boot. And if that's the case, just delete it from your list. Uh, make a mental note of it so you know not to upload it if you're going to hook up some of your friends or whatever. And yeah, I actually got two different versions of Punch-Out here. Oh, because I uploaded an extra one. <laughs> it's kind of like Nintendo did give us the best of the best. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and delete that punch out. But, yeah, you can see there's, it, like, it doesn't, there's not even a difference between the cover art there. Okay, Turtles in Time, Zelda, Top Gear, you know, Batman and Robin, Aladdin, Battletoads and Battlemania, Boogerman. Bust a Move, Captain America, Dracula X, Clay Fighters, uh, Doom. That's got the FX chip. I'm surprised it actually loaded. And uh, you can see Earthworm Jim 1 and 2. Let's let's click on Earthworm Jim and see how she runs here. Okay. And there she is. She's going. Now, I don't, I don't want to, you know, put the volume on because... You guys know how Nintendo is with copyrights, so yeah. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Super Nintendo Mini Modded. Now, just keep in mind that that version, I think, 2.20 uh, is still a beta. It's not the official release, and it's working great. So I don't even think I'm going to download the official release. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, please, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up uh, for my hard work here. <laughs> You know, if you guys ever had a, an, an STD, you can always hit that uh, dislike button. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any uploads. And uh, this is Retro Pro Frank, and I'm out. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and press the like button below. And uh, you guys can leave some comments uh, below in the comments section of the video. Please share this video on Facebook pages to your friends and family. As well as if you guys like this video, please subscribe. This is RetroPro Frank. Thanks for watching. I'm out.